Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to edit a behind the scenes teaser video for REIT's upcoming music release. So as you guys know, I edit all types of videos, and in this case, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna edit this behind the scenes video and show you a little bit of my workflow. It's almost like you're sitting here next to me and you're watching me edit this video. I feel it's important to do these kinds of videos so that you can see my workflow, see how I do things, see how I set things up so that you can do really cool type of edits. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is import the media. Now I've got a folder right here all ready to go with everything. These are the behind the scenes clips right here, and then this is the song, and then this is the artwork as well. So I'm going to import all of this. And then it's gonna go into my media bin. Now these are clips that I filmed a year ago, like January 2018, I believe, over a year ago. And it is now time for the release of this song for Arete. And if you don't know who Arete is, she's my business partner and she's also a singer. And she's going to be releasing a new song on November 15th. So this is why I'm creating a teaser video. So when I was filming over a year ago, I just, they were doing a recording session and I just filmed different parts of it and I want to do like a fast cut type of thing that teases the video but it's also behind the scenes and it lets people know that the song is coming out on November 15th. So I'm gonna start off by going through the clips here and I'm just gonna lay them on the track here and I'm going to play them and see which parts I like for the video. So I'm going to just start playing it. Okay, so this is a clip where I'm basically just watching them jamming to the song. They had initially got the first part of the beat so just from watching this, I'm going to not take the whole thing because it's long. So I'll maybe take up until here. And I'm just going to just keep that on the screen. Now let's drag this and see what kind of clip this was. <laughs> Okay, so that's similar to the first, so I'm actually not going to use that, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm actually going to delete it from my media bin, because I only want the stuff that I'm using. So I'm going to move on to the next one here. You know what I mean? Like, that's one option. Okay, so I like that. He's playing on the piano there and then Arit is singing. You know what I mean? like... All right, I'll cut it off there. And right now there's no like I'm just kind of just grabbing the clips. I I don't really have an order yet. I just want to grab all the pieces that I want to use. So I'm going to go on to the next one now. Think about the journey exactly, right? Yeah. You're giving them like this cool attitude and then you slow yeah. it down, but you bring it up. And then we hit them with the chords of like yeah. the energy and then maybe flip the script on So let me see that beginning part there. Think about the journey exactly, right? Yeah. You're giving them like this cool attitude and then you slow yeah. it down but you bring it up. Maybe I'll leave it until there. Might not be using everything, but I'm still gonna be going through it. Let's grab this one here. You can see these were all really short clips that I took during their session, and that was the whole point. Okay, let me set this up. See, and like, can you do that full voice? Is that hella high? Like, that would be like a scream. 
Yes. Okay, so definitely keeping that. Let me just play that again. Yes. Okay, so we'll start from there. And then we'll delete this part and keep the end part because that's a cool moment. Let's play this here. Good. Good. So I need to get these chords going though. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is intense. Are we gonna just like drop the beat out or something when you do it so it's just like you and just like a chord pad or whatever or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something cool like that. Okay, I will leave that one. I'm not gonna use that clip. So I'm gonna delete that from the bin. And then this one I think we're definitely gonna use because it's like a zoom up of the lyrics. I'll just cut off the end there, but definitely keeping that. Eat that. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go over here. Okay, I'm going to keep from the zoom up there because this is similar to the other one, but I do do this zoom up, aggressive zoom up thing, which I want to keep. So I'm going to cut it from... Okay, so I'll go back from here, delete that part. Zoom out, and then cut that, okay, and then, let's see, next. Okay, maybe just a little bit of that. <laughs> I might use it, I might not. Probably just up to there. And then next, let's see this one. Okay, I think I just want to keep up until there. And then that one was like a longer clip. So now last couple of clips here. Oh, yes. The head's kind of cut off, so I'm going to leave that one out. I'm going to delete that one, and then let's see... This one might be similar. Okay, I think I'm, this one might be similar to the previous one. Yeah, so I'm going to keep the other one instead of this one. And then I think we have all of our pieces now. So now I'm going to play everything at once, and then I'm going to start rearranging everything in the order that I would like. So let's see here. Mm 
So we have this clip. So now that I've just quickly looked over everything, I'm actually going to make this clip a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to start arranging things. So I think I want the lyrics first, in the very beginning, and then... I'll leave it over here. Let's see. Okay, maybe I want to remove a little bit of the end part. Before he says that line. So maybe over here. I'm just showing you guys like how I would actually edit this video while talking through to you. And then let's see here. I think I want this part near the end. And what's this? They want the journey exactly, right? Yeah. You're giving them like this cool attitude. Maybe we'll switch these two. It's like a little jigsaw oh. puzzle. They want the journey, exactly, right? Yeah. You're giving them like this cool attitude and yeah. you slow it down and then you bring it up. Okay, now what's happening over here? That was the zoom in thing. And then... This I think I want near the end. We'll put something over here. Okay, and then... That's near the end. here maybe I'll cut that a bit shorter cut this one a bit shorter and then Okay, so now I'm going to play this again and just review it, see if I want to change any placements. They want the journey exactly, right? Yeah. You're giving them like this cool attitude and yeah. you slow it down and then you bring it up.
Okay, so I think I want to shorten this one a little bit more. And then, so far I'm liking everything. And then now I'm going to add the ending part with the song. But there's a certain part that I want to add um, before the song gets... There's like this cool part. It's right here. I can see it visibly because it like drops down and then it does this beat thing and I'll play it so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Okay. So it goes like... Okay, so I'll start it from... Let's see here. So it does this like swooping noise, which sounds cool. So I want that at the end. So it's like happening right at the end, plus this thing to happen. So maybe I'll make this a little bit louder. Thanks. Yes. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Yes. Move this over. Yes. Okay, maybe I'll do a quick fade in on this. Yes. Okay, we're gonna end it over here. Okay. So I'm going to clip it there, and then I'm going to do a fade out there, but move this along. There we go. So it does a nice fade out, and then extend that. And then let's look at everything as a whole. Now, I think I want to add some transitions so they look like separate pieces. I think I want to add transitions to each part. Who knows, I might end up deleting all these, but that's what happens when I'm doing these kinds of videos. You play around. Play around, see what looks good, delete what doesn't look good, that type of thing. So let's play this. I think I like it with them. Okay, the last one I'm actually going to remove because they she's doing this singing thing. Okay, so I wanted to end abruptly like that. Okay. Cool. Okay, now I want to finish off this part here with the text. So it does this. Okay, so now we're going to add a behavior on this part. My favorite is the pop-up. I always like using it.
but we're going to remove the moving part. We just want it to do the behavior in the beginning and then just stay put. We don't want it to be flapping around the whole time. And I want some text here. So I'm going to grab this. Okay. And I'm going to put listen to masterpiece and I need the Spotify logo this is the one I want so Spotify I'm gonna put that there listen to masterpiece on Spotify no I don't think I need to put the word on listen to masterpiece and then I think I want to put November 15th oops November 15th. Make it a bit smaller. Okay, extend that. Okay, I want the Spotify thing to do a jumping behavior to catch attention to that. So... I'm going to add this. Okay. Let's see how that looks again. And what are we going to make these two text pieces do? Let's see. Fly in? Let's see. Okay, so we want to make sure that the two fly ins, we leave it on the screen, and the jump and fall, we leave it on the screen. Okay. Okay, cool. So now we're going to go back here. And I actually want to clip some things. So I want to have a little bit of a border. On the video, like the black border, I think would look good on everything. So let's just see how this looks. Nice. Okay, so now, very last thing that I'm going to do is now the color correction. Now, the reason why I always do this at the end is because when you add this, it starts to slow everything down. I guess it's using a lot of juice or whatever, but I wouldn't recommend doing the color correction in the very beginning. 
Otherwise, then you risk things lagging and your computer just not being as optimal as it could be. So I always do this at the very end. Okay, so now I'm going to do some color correction for each one now. And, um, okay, so that turned to black and white. It always does it to black and white. I'm going to lower the contrast down, bring the color, bring the brightness down a little bit. Now you'll see what it looked like before. It was more of a darker shade, and this looks better. I can actually make this brighter. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the next one. Now we go to modify visual effects, color adjustment, do the same thing. Now it's hard sometimes when it's really dark, right? Because they're both wearing like dark clothing, but we do the best we can here. Otherwise, let's see. Because if you click X, then it becomes even darker. This was the original, and this is the little better version. Like I said, Camtasia's color correction isn't the greatest. It's not like professional like in other softwares, but it's better than nothing because like this was would be original and this is the edited version. I can add a little bit more. Okay, now next. So, same thing, and I'm just going through each one, just doing this. Another thing you can do is go to the previous one, copy effects, and if it's kind of like the same scene, you can paste it and see if you like those results as well. So I'm going to keep that. Now let's see if I paste it here what this will end. That looks too bright. So I'm going to lower that down. So I'm going to lower that. Still a bit too bright, I think. Okay, next one. These were just the chords. So I'm going to click paste. Going to this one, click paste. I'm just pasting the same effects, but I think I'm going to lower it. Okay, now last couple of ones, paste, and 
this one paste Okay, so now I'm gonna go back, obviously start saving everything, and watch it one more time. Okay, awesome. So I think that I'm good with all this. All right, so I'm pretty much done right now. All that I need to do is I would go here, go to local file, choose the 1081, and click finish, which would render the video and have it completed. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm recording and I want to make sure I end this first before I actually render the video. So that is how I edit a behind the scenes teaser promo video for Arit's upcoming music launch. Like I said, I like to share these different kinds of editing videos so you guys can get a feel for what you can actually do in Camtasia. If you guys like these kinds of videos, you guys can check out my 9 plus hour Camtasia course that you guys can get two months free access to in the description below. If you're just learning Camtasia and you want to learn to be able to do these kinds of things, I would highly recommend checking out that course. That course is 9 plus hours long, it's got a ton of tutorials just like this one, and it will help accelerate your Camtasia learning. So that is down in the description below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.